Time. It seems that all in life revolves around time. I always have to get up at such hour. I have to run somewhere to be on time. There are only two hours left to hand in my homework. We can all have the same 24 hours a day, but it's not enough for me. I don't have time for myself. Have you felt this way? When you want to start exercising, start practicing an instrument, or maybe you have already tried to do something other than your daily routine, but you just don't have time because of priorities. Work, school, having to clean, I don't know, but it seems that there are always some things that come before the things that you really want to do. But we should do the things we don't like as much as the things we do like. To manage your obligations and to do the things that you like requires having a more organized life and being willing to make changes. Life is more than being worried, stressed, or rushing to be on time. We also need days to ourselves to relax, to have to do nothing, to enjoy life. But have you really tried to have that balance? It is not to give up after three attempts. You have to keep trying and trying until you find that balanced routine that fits your needs. That's why I want to share with you this quote that says, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Maybe you have heard this quote before, but have you given it a minute? This was written by Albert Einstein, and we can compare this with many situations. Maybe you want to make a significant change in your life, but feel like you're waiting for something to start. We all know the typical, I'll do the diet next week, and so continue the next and the next week until you better live it for the next year. Let me tell you that if you want to make changes, make them now. I know this can sound repetitive, but don't leave the things you can do today for tomorrow. Life is short, each moment is unique, and there are going to be unrepeatable situations in your life. Sometimes we do not value the now, or we may think that we still have a lot ahead of us, so we waste time. But I'm sure many adults regret not doing some things when they were young. So don't wait for something to happen, to make you start doing the things you want, to become the best version of yourself. Having a dream balanced life, it's not impossible. Just do it step by step. It is about accomplishing small goals, to propose bigger and more difficult challenges over time. You just can't simply expect to magically get into the habit of reading an hour a day. Mm -mm. And did you know that on average, habits are formed in 66 days? Maybe you have heard that they are acquired in 21 days, but this can vary depending on the person, and we can form habits between 18 days or more. With the shortness of life, it's very important to ask ourselves what we will do with our lives. Do I have a purpose? Am I making my life worth living? And there's so much to torment us with, but take it slow. Do not think that true life begins when you become an adult, or begins when you become retired and free. No, each stage of life has something special and will never be repeated. When we are children, we have time and energy, but no money. When we are adults, we have money and energy, but no time. And finally, when we are old, we have money and the time, but no longer the energy. Life just implies change. Realize how many years you have lived. How many times you have circled the sun. Enjoy your life, every day, every hour, every minute. Some days you'll feel like you can't handle things anymore. And other days you'll feel like you can't go on. But don't worry, you're not alone. We've all been there. And I want you to know that life has ups and downs. Always after the storm, a beautiful rainbow comes out. And whatever you are, 
Whatever is your situation, it will change. Life is not about being perfect, meeting the expectation of others, waiting for something or for a sign to start living it how you want. It is good to hear advice from others, but in the end, it is you who decides what is the best for your life. Don't get me wrong, as studying and making your best in it, it's a very important part of your life. But it is just that part of your life. Don't let anything consume you. We all go at our own pace, and organizing yourself will prevent you from overloading. Last year, I had this bad habit of sleeping late. And the next morning, I felt tired, so in the afternoon, I would take a nap. But then at night, I had to do homework, so I would sleep late again. Now, I always try to make the most of my days. This was a very hard cycle to get out of, but I could do it. I've learned that there are always other opportunities, but I have to do something today. Because to achieve success, you have to make small efforts every day. With this, here are some tips so you can start making changes in your life. To start improving your life, one of the first steps is to identify what things are holding you back. And don't do anything right on you. This can be bad routines or some people are on you. There may be some habits that you know that are not good for you, that generate consequences, or even if you like them, they do not bring anything good out of you. There may even be people who affect your happiness that don't let you be yourself and make you feel bad. Because not always everything you do or the things you like will have the support of everyone. So you can't expect to please everyone. Seek your happiness. The following step is to forgive. Because only by forgiving those who have ever hurt you and leaving the past things in the past. You can overcome situations and walk in the present. <sighs> because part of having a balanced life is having a good mental health. This can be the hardest thing with so many problems and stress, but don't let this bring you down. You have to be resilient and draw strength from where there is none. It won't be easy, but sooner or later, all the effort you make will be worth it. The next step is to be grateful for the opportunities that come our way. Say yes to any challenge in your life. Say yes to the things that used to scare you. And say yes to trying things you don't feel capable of doing. You can't be all time fearing for tomorrow, fearing for the results of things, even if you haven't tried. Life is about being brave and taking out that inner lion in us. But do not think that life is full of opportunities and that they will easily come to you. You are the one who must work hard to achieve them. Finally, and for me the most important, is to take care of our loved ones. This doesn't just include family. It can be your friends, someone special, or even your pets. Share with them as long as you can and have fun every time you see them, but also care about others. We need a world where everybody cares for everyone. Remember, we're not going to have these wonderful people by our side forever, so let's be thankful for the present. Life is not about planning and planning and doing nothing. We are still on time, and the decisions we make today will affect our future in one way or another. Always take the time to think calmly about things before acting. I am still working to have that balanced life that I want. Overcoming the habit of sleeping late was not easy. It took time, but I was able to do it. We can all do what we proposed. Before concluding, I want to share some interesting results from some studies.
the doctors managed to accidentally capture the brain scan of a dying human being for the first time. The findings were kind of surprising. For about a minute, 30 seconds before his heart stopped and for 30 seconds after, the brain scans were very, very similar to what they're like during memory recall, meditation and dreaming. So, turns out it is actually quite likely true that people see their life flash before their eyes when they die. In this video, but I guess it was always kind of Look real. That we see our lives past past our eyes when we die. Let me ask you something. What things do you want to remember? What things do you still want to enjoy? Make your life worthwhile. And do whatever you want, because we're going to make mistakes. Many, many mistakes. But don't let them stop you. Learn from them to move forward, just like on a bicycle. Because the time to enjoy your life has already begun. Thank you.